Hey, Christian, um, Brian Branch was all over the football field tonight, had eight total tackles. It was one of your best players. Uh, what have you seen for him in the weeks leading up to this game? And just talk about him and what a special player he is for your group. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. BB is a, he's a really great player. Um, you know, I say this for a lot of guys, but, I mean, it's really the truth. You know, you see these guys working every day in practice, and, you know, when they come out to the game and they have that breakout game where, you know, everybody, kind of, you know, starts to take notice, you're not really surprised by uh, like I said, I see it every day. He's a hard worker. Um, you know, we love to have him. We love what he does for us. Our next question comes from Katie Windham of Bama Central. Hey, Christian. Um, just how locked in is the defense right now at this point in the season with one game left? You said how locked in are we? Yes. Uh, I mean, I would, you know, say that we're pretty locked in. Um, of course, you know, we got to enjoy this one for 24 hours and then uh, see who we're playing in the national championship and get ready for that. But, you know, I definitely think we're locked in. We're ready. We're talking with Alabama student athlete Christian Harris. Please raise your hand to get your question into the queue. Our next question comes from John Talty. John, go ahead with your question, please. Going to be able to. Hey, Christian. So, uh, it seemed like you guys up. were able to have a lot of success, you know, batting down passes and things kind of at the line of scrimmage. Was that something that you guys saw, you know, on film or felt confident that you'd be able to affect the quarterback that way today? I mean, I think, you know, it might have been a part of, you know, coach's game plan. Um, you know, our, our, everybody up front did a really great job of, you know, trying to close the pocket and, uh, you know, with a low ball flight, keeping their hands up and batting the balls or short passes, trying to get out quick because, you know, the pressure's coming. So, um, you know, our front seven definitely did a, a really great job with that today, batting the ball. Our next question comes from Ben Durando of the Tuscaloosa News. Hey, Christian, I wanted to ask about some of the young guys. And on defense, Kool-Aid had a pretty good game. And then you know, on offense, Ja'Cory Brooks scores another big touchdown. How, how huge is it to have those contributions from those guys? Uh, it's exciting, uh, you know, to see the young guys step up in big-time moments like this. Um, you know, not everybody could do that, you know, be able to make those big time plays like C7 did with a touchdown or, you know, like play a whole game like Kool-Aid did, you know, knowing that, you know, they're going to come at you. So, you know, those guys are ready. I've seen the, uh, the preparation and the amount of work that they put in throughout the week. So, um, you know, I'm really happy for them uh, for this game and I'm excited to see what they do in the future. If you want to talk about the overall play of the defense, able to hold Cincinnati to two of 12 on third downs, over three on fourth downs, really controlled the game, really from the start, keeping them out of the end zone. Yeah, um, I mean, our defense, you know, coach had a really good game plan for us. Uh, I think, you know, the main thing for us is just making sure we're all on the same page. Um, and, you know, knowing that, you know, we're going to come out there, you know, we had about, I don't know how many practices, but, you know, of course, we're going to see some new stuff that we haven't seen before, but let your rules apply. Um, you know, I think that's just what we did out there, and we, we stayed together. Uh, regardless of, you know, we knew they were going to make some plays. You know, they're a good team. They're here for a reason. But it's all about how you respond to that. And, you know, I think we responded pretty well. The pride that the defense unit has coming off the, the championship last year, how much does that feel getting back to this stage again in back-to-back -back years? I mean, I think, you know, the defense, with the confidence that we have, I mean, you know, it really started developing over the second half of the season this year. Um, I mean, you know, that national championship was nice to have last year, but, you know, we know this is a new team. We got new players. So, uh, you know, we have to set new goals. And um, like I said, I think we're doing pretty good with that right now. Johnny, go ahead with your question, please. Your name is cut off, but Johnny, go ahead with your question. Hey, quick question. Um, for a long time, Alabama has been known as running the football and playing defense. That was the MO of the program. Now as they're getting ready to head back to the national championship, you're running the football effectively and you're playing defense at an elite level. Is that kind of the moniker? Is that the kind of MO, the reputation that you guys want as you head back to another national title? Uh, we just want to show that we're a physical team, um, that we're going to play four quarters. Um, and we know that each team that we play, especially in moments like this, big games like this, um, you know, we have to come with it every single play. Uh, it's a 15 round fight. You know, it might not happen in the first or second quarter, but you got to keep going. You got to keep pushing. And uh, regardless if that's the, you know, the game plan that day for the offense is to focus on running the ball and for us on the defense is to focus on them stopping, you know, the run. I mean, that's what it is. But I think it's really just executing whatever coach has for us. And that question was from Johnny Cognon, ABC 3340. We'll have a follow up now. Yeah, uh, another question. Um, 
just talk about how unbelievably talented both you, Will Anderson and, of course, Henry Toa Toa have been for you this season. Obviously, Toa Toa comes in from Tennessee, had to learn a whole new defensive scheme. And then what's it like to watch Will Anderson just come off the yeah, edge, Will, especially on passing down? Fun, was it too? No, no, it's really exciting. Uh, I love it, you know, seeing these guys. Um, Will do what he did this year and last year. You know, a young guy coming in like that and, and having that confidence and, you know, showing that leadership on the team. Uh, you know, it really motivates everybody around him, you know, positively affects everybody on the team. And, and Henry does the same thing. You know, he's a great guy with good energy. And, you know, he shows that every day with his effort that he comes in, you know, to, in the practice. So, I mean, it's not really a surprise to me to see them going crazy in the games now. Um, I really like that for him. You know, I'm really happy. It's helping us win. It's helping us play better on defense. So, uh, whatever those guys are doing, <laughs> I hope they keep doing it because it's definitely, it's definitely helping. Our next question comes from Katie Wyndham of Bama Central. Christian, uh, Cincinnati got down in the red zone a couple times, but y'all never allowed them to get into the end zone. What kind of was the difference for the defense um, once Cincinnati would get down there? Wait, she said in the, in the red zone? Yeah, what was the difference in not allowing them to get into the end zone, although they got in the red zone a couple times? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the, having a mindset of bend, don't break, uh, whenever you get in the red zone, um, you know, it's, it's tough sometimes, you know, however you get down there, whether it's a big play, giving up a big play or a big catch or having a penalty. But, you know, once you get down there, you can't let them in the end zone. And, you know, that's something I think, you know, a lot of defenses pride themselves on it. We definitely do as well. Um, you know, it definitely gets tough down there, but that's something we work on. So uh, we really take pride in that.